All right, welcome back, everyone. Tonight's guests are uh, a local, well, I don't want to say local band, but a Berkshire-based band. Um, they've played all over the United States, and they're getting ready to take their first European tour. Please welcome to the show Seth and Gina from Misty Blues. Hey, thanks. Thanks so, for having us. Absolutely. Thanks for coming in and doing this. So, um, you guys are really well known in the area and have been for quite some time and it seems like every year you're gaining more and more headway yeah <laughs> um so how's that going yeah it, well it's going well well it's going really well um you know it's not for a lack of effort <laughs> we grind away at it and play about 150 shows a year wow um, is it that many oh yeah yeah. Wow. Easily. Yeah. Easily. Easily. Yeah. Now, Gina, you are the lead vocalist. Yes. And Seth, you're the, I guess, lead guitarist, rhythm guitarist? Guitarist. Guitarist. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I've noticed, depending on the venue, the size of the band changes frequently. Yes. Yes. How, how many people are in Misty Blues? <laughs> well, that, that's a hard number to wrangle right there, um, you know, because we have we have an arsenal of, of musicians um, who are uh, equipped to step in if one of the core band members uh, is unavailable for a show. Okay. Uh, we call it the farm team, <laughs> which is a, kind of a weird term because that's like, in the baseball terms, it's like a developing team, but they're all... Is there like ever a, a big show true. where it's the <laughs> full, everybody's out? Well, we did a show, did yeah, we did one last <laughs> November, on, on November 11th um, at Proprietor's Lodge um, in Pittsfield, where uh, we were celebrating reaching a million streams on our wow. 11th album. So, a million streams, 11th album on 11-11, we brought out the 11-piece band. Very cool. <laughs> and that was a lot That's of fun. That's a big band. That was a big band. It was kind of, it was fun. It was now, fun. is that with, like, any horns or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, Aaron Dean's part of our, uh, who's a saxophonist, he's part of our regular okay. core band. Um, but then we had uh, John Berman put, uh, yeah. put on extra sax for us. and. And then, um, you know, my bass player uh, also plays trumpet, and my drummer also plays trombone, so there's, there's movement. Most of the guys, a lot of the guys are multi-instrumentalists. That's really cool. Yeah. So, how did this all start? Are you the founder? Or? I am. Okay. I am. I am. So how did this all start? Are you the founder? Or? I am. Okay. I am. I am. Um, it started back in 1999. So the band's been around for 24 years. Okay. Um, I had an opportunity to uh, perform in the Williamstown Theater Festival pr uh, production of A Raisin in the Sun. Um, they cast me as a gospel singer. So I would come and traverse the stage while the acts were changing to you know divert the attention of the audience and at the end of that run the lead actor Ruben Santiago Hudson um, gave me this CD collection called Men Are Like Streetcars and it's like all female blues artists from the late 20s to the late 60s nice and he's like yeah your voice is perfectly suited for the blues you should do blues and, and so I consumed that album in short order, and then I went back to the band that I was playing with, uh, Cole Connection at the time. And I'm like, let's just change things up. Let's become a blues band. And off the top of my head, I said, let's call ourselves Misty Blues. And, and that was it, huh? Yeah, and the guys were like, yeah, sure, that sounds like fun. Did it feel natural for you? Yes, very much so. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, you've, it's hard to find authentic sounding blues singers and you definitely have that it's, it's a very it's got to be felt it's got to be there's yes. got to be a lot of soul in it yeah. and uh absolutely 
Yeah. When you started singing blues, did it just feel like, okay, this is it? Yeah, no, it, it felt instantaneously me, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, Seth, you've played, we've known each other forever. Um, Seth and I used to trade Zeppelin bootlegs back in <laughs> high school. <laughs> so you've been playing guitar a long time, and I know that. Um, and pretty much, you've, as far as I know, you've stayed in that blues rock genre. Yes and no. I was a metalhead in okay. high school, and uh, that's actually what I started playing was off of that. But I never not loved blues and blues-based rock too. I never, I never liked that attitude of I'm a metalhead, so I only like this. You know, right. It's like I could listen to the heavier stuff and then listen to something like Muddy Waters and see that they were both really cool and I wanted to learn how to play both of them, so that's what I did. Now, as a guitarist, it's got to be a blast. I mean being able to rip into some blues solos. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. I love it. Yeah. That's, uh, that's my thing. Um, actually, my favorite thing is to just groove and let, groove and comp and let the band go, you know, because, um, yeah, I, you know, yes, I can solo and I enjoy soloing, but when we're all clicking, that's when it actually yeah. more matters to me. Yeah. Now, as things have ramped up, how did the, the European tour come to be? Um, well, one louder. Um, w we were um, signed under a UK label, um, and so um, our the the head of our label is like, oh, you need to come out and promote this album. Um, but then the pandemic mm. um, and cases, COVID cases ticking up. This tour was supposed to happen last summer. Oh wow! Uh, and so it got postponed, and, and in that postponement, we wrote another album and decided to go with a, a different label. But we still had we still had that uh, tour on the books. Okay. Um, so um, which wasn't organized by our label; it was an independent um, UK booker. Um, so yeah, we're like, okay, well, we'll just go now. Are there any other uh, artists on the on the bill that you're looking forward to seeing? Or oh well, we at, we're actually being supported most of our tour by um, um, Half Half Moon Panic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a UK based band. Okay, and they're, they're going to be. I think they're opening for us five out of the seven shows and that's cool so you'll be able to build a relationship yeah. there yeah well you know we're already like thickest thieves they're they're helping us out with gear and providing a lot of gear for us during through, throughout the tour and they seem like incredible guys nice yeah. now this is obviously yeah. expensive to to take on a feat like this yes um, yes it is <laughs> so i know you guys have have had some sponsors or some fundraising yes. yes how can let's talk about that a little bit in case some people yeah. want to contribute well you know early on we we had some business sponsors um who have really come through here in our community here in the berkshires and um have pretty much uh, place this um, in a spot where we could cover our flight expenses uh, but there's <laughs> there's a lot more <laughs> left uh, with accommodations and, and and vehicles while we're down right. there and so forth um, and so we do have a GoFundMe um, that's still up and active okay yeah. and is that can people find that on your Facebook or social media or? Uh, yes all, all across all over our social media okay and it's all Facebook just Misty Facebook. Blues Misty Blues yes we are properly named Misty Blues, but most of the platforms we're on, we had to put the band on the end of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, most places like Facebook is Misty Blues Band. Uh, okay. And Twitter and Instagram is Misty Blues Band 413. And um, 
Any more concerts coming up bef or shows coming up before you guys leave for that tour? <laughs> more than we can count. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right, let's plug those. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's like really no end to the amount. It's busy. Yeah, and we're still booking. Yeah, so. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. You guys um, must have very cool bosses or you just don't sleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's funny because that's a track on the latest album is, is I Don't Sleep. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I mean, all of our stuff is done in the evenings, so, you know, and most of us have day jobs, so as long as we have the capacity to stay awake. <laughs> then, I, I think uh, it's so cool <laughs> uh, seeing a band like you guys getting the recognition you're getting, yeah. and it's just really cool for the area. It's just really cool. You guys are awesome, and, and uh, it's... Thank you. It, it's... I mean, it feels good for the community, I think, to see the, the recognition coming in. Yeah, and it, it feels good for us to see the support that's coming from our from our home community. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I, uh, let's plug a couple of the shows. Anything Pittsfield or close to Pittsfield coming up? Um, yeah, where, geez, where are we? Well, we've got Firefly mm -hmm. and Lennox um, through... The 19th, I think. Through yeah. the 19th, of, yeah, through the 19th of May. Um, so that's every Friday night. Okay. Um, yeah. And not this Saturday, but not this week, actually, but next week on Friday and Saturday up at the Porches in North Adams, we have three concerts actually going, one on Friday, two on Saturday. Um, we're going to be doing um, a tribute to the blues singer Odetta, um, recording... Yeah. Recording a live album. Nice. Actually, we're checking off five, well, four, four bucket list items. I, you know, I've been saying three all along, but I, I found a fourth one. <laughs> so the first one is that we've never done a live recorded album okay. with, with an audience there. Um, second, we've never done an acoustic album. Uh, third, we've never done a tribute album. And fourth, we have never release two al albums in the same calendar year. So this is going to try to check all those off? It will. Wow. <laughs> it will categorically do now, that. Are, do you guys also, are you involved in the pr producing of it and the in the engineering of it? Um, well, no, that's not, the engineering is not in our wheelhouse. <laughs> <laughs> studio 9 is, is, um, is, uh, is is a recording studio um, um, run by Dave Dennison, um, and it's a state of the art. Oh, it's a gorgeous it's, it's, Yeah, it's newly built. Yo Yo Ma's been doing a lot of recording there. Okay. Um, and it's an incredible space. Like they can change how the room sounds. That's cool. So they can change the sound to sound like, oh, you want to sound like you're in a little jute joint? Yeah. We is this the one it. in Who's a Tonic? Or? No, this is the one um, across the street from Mass Mocha. Oh, okay. I've heard a lot yeah. about that. Okay. Yeah. Um, we actually recorded one track on our current album uh, at that studio, and that's where we met, um, you know, the, the recording engineer, Dave Dennison, and we, we were talking about little passion projects, and I, uh, I spoke to him about my, uh, you know, how I want to do a tribute to Odetta. Uh, and he's like, yeah, you should do it here. We could put seats in here. That's awesome. Like, wow. And so that's how it snowballed. That is awesome. Yeah, so, but it, it can only accommodate 80 people at a time, so. Uh, that should make yeah. for a great recording, though. Yeah, yeah, no, we're you know, just looking I'm forward to it. this one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think it's great. Like I said, there's a buzz with you guys lately, and, and your name's been around for a while, but yeah. it's hitting that momentum <laughs> point now where it's picking up steam, and I think it's awesome. I really yeah. do. Well, in the greater blues world, they're calling us the, the, the up and comers, you know the new kids on the block. I'm like, we're some mighty old. <laughs> <laughs> but that's great, isn't it? <laughs> it's it, it, awesome. great. Yeah. Well, I can't thank you guys enough for doing this. I wish you the 
most success on the tour. I'm sure it's going to be a blast, and I hope you. you can come back when you guys come back and, and uh, talk a little bit about it and maybe bring some photos and oh, stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, let me know when you're playing Pittsfield. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you again, Gina, and thank you again, Seth, and, um, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon, and I'll catch you all uh, Monday. <laughs>